we've just arrived at the Airbnb in Penrith and um, it's a really good one this, I'll show you. So this is the bedroom, so we've got a double bed, TV and wardrobe, pretty standard stuff but it gets better, uh, I'll save the best for it till last. So this is our own private bathroom, so we've got toilet, sink, mirror, and we've got a big bath, so I think we're going to have a bath tonight. But, like I say, I saved the best for last. We have our own little dining room, which I've never had an Airbnb before, which is really, really good. Um, we've got oh, some milk and water in there. And, um, yeah. Got some cereal for tomorrow, which is good. So I don't need to worry about uh, about going to Weatherspoons for breakfast. We can have our breakfast here. So we've got cornflakes, cocoa drops, uh, porridge, rice krispies, uh, tea and coffee. Yeah, that's it. Standard. We've had that the last two nights. But um, yeah, we've got a little table to sit at to have it. It's really good. And um, here's the view outside. So that's my car park just down there. Um, it's kind of like a council estate this, um, it looks like quite a good council estate, well first impressions anyway, you can never really tell, but it seems nice. The, uh, the hosts are really nice, uh, we got here about 45 minutes early, it's um, 4.15 right now, um, check-in was at 5, but um, you know, we want to get here early so we can relax because um, we're going out to eat soon. It took 4 hours to get here from Oban, so um, yeah, a long drive, so just wanted to get here and relax really. So what are we doing soon? I go to a restaurant. What kind of restaurant are we going to? Mexican. We're going to a Mexican restaurant, which is funny because it's our second wedding anniversary, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And my ex-wife is Mexican. So it seems a good idea and really appropriate that for our second wedding anniversary, we go to a Mexican restaurant. You don't need to roll that up, no one's asking. <laughs> It'll help me remind me of my ex-wife and all the great times we had together. Okay, it? fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I wouldn't, shouldn't talk to too much. Wine's gonna get angry on our anniversary. <laughs> You're already angry. I'm only joking. Don't worry. All right, so we're gonna relax a little bit and then uh, we'll show you the Mexican restaurant when we get there. All right, so the plan was just to go straight to the Mexican restaurant to get something to eat, but I thought, you know what, it's our second wedding anniversary. I really need to show my wife at the time, just to show her what a great man she's married to. So I'm really treating her today. So I thought before we go straight to eat, I take her a lovely drink at one of the best pubs you can possibly go to. We are at, can you guess? Weather spoons, <laughs> the dog beck. All right, so time to enter stealth mode, wine. I'm putting it on my chest. Let's let's see what the dog beck is like. This one's clean. Only a clean table for my darling wife. Are you happy? Yeah, to be honest, I like the drinks, so I'm oh, gonna see. complain. She does like it. I do treat her. Look at the prices. I told you it was cheaper than in Scotland. So here, Carling is £3.54. I mean, it was £3.94 in Scotland, so. Um, I want the cider, please. Like the one that he ordered me yesterday. Ah, uh, you want the pink. Wine's gonna have the some kind of strawberry cider or something. Yeah, let's get the drinks ordered and then we'll show them. All right, the drinks have come. I've uh, drank a bit already, but uh, I've gone for the green Abbott real ale. And wine, what do you have? Cider, strawberry cider, choo-choo. Copperberg, strawberry and lime cider. 
all right we're going to drink these um because we booked our table for 5 30 and as you can see it's 5 30 now so we're going to be late for our reservation so we'll drink these up quick and we'll head over to the mexican restaurant all right wine is going to show us her amazing pay, navigation skills pay attention to surroundings while walking so we have to follow arrows <laughs> it's like augmented reality we have to follow the arrows which way are we going wine it's straight you need to follow this path wow look at the arrows <laughs> look this is this is the only oh no this is the only way that wine can get around without getting lost <laughs> isn't it yeah. Yeah. Look, I follow the arrows. And it, has, it gives, keeps giving you keeps giving you messages, be safe. <laughs> Watch your surroundings. Because it's made for people who are completely clueless. <laughs> who don't know the surroundings. That's why they need arrows to point them where to go. How dare you? <laughs> oh. Do we turn right here, Wine? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Do we turn right? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> or you know you could just use common sense in your own eyeballs and just you know get to places yourself but oh look someone went the wrong way their arrows didn't help at all did they all right see okay. you when we get to the mexican restaurant all right so here we are salsa bistro and bar i'm not going to film going inside i feel a bit awkward but i'll see you when we're inside all right so here's the menu um I think we're going to have a little starter, we're going to have some nachos, cheese nachos, for two people. Uh, for main course, we're going to go with ground beef tacos and chicken fajitas. We'll show you when the nachos come. Alright, so the nachos are here, we'll give it a little try. Seven quid these cost. More than I'd uh, normally pay, but it's on an anniversary after all. Mmm, nice, nice and warm. We'll see if it gets wine's seal approval. Wine loves nachos usually. Okay. All right. all right, let's get these downers. All right, the food's here, and I got the chicken fajitas. And all sorts of things. I already made it and I already had a bite as well. And then I got wine tacos. has the beef taco. So give it a try while I see what you think. It's not actually but I like the taco. Oh, this one. Oh the shell. Well, you can have some light aside. Alright, I'll try mine. Mm. Yeah, it's not too bad. Reminds me of my time in Mexico with my ex-wife. Oh, wine's not impressed. <laughs> Alright, we're going to continue eating now. Alright, and here's the bill. Comes to £39. So yeah, we're going to go back to the Airbnb now. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know what we thought of the food, because we don't want to say that. So we're back at the Airbnb now. Uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> and my legs are killing me. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we just decided to come back after we ate. So yeah, the food was really good. Um, it wasn't as good as Google Maps reviews said it was. It got a 4.6 out of 5. Um, the place we went to yesterday had like a 4.7 out of 5. But the food yesterday was way better than what we had today. Definitely. Um, I'd say it was above average. I'd, I'd probably say it's like a, a 7 out of 10, what we had today. Whereas yesterday was like an 8.5 out of 10. Like I say, it was good. Um, it had really good portion sizes as well um because we're definitely full yeah it was just like it was a little bit better than what you get from an old El paso box uh it's definitely not authentic mexican food i lived in mexico for four years so i know what real mexican food tastes like it wasn't authentic at all it was um just like the stuff you get from an old El paso box really but it did taste nice so yeah you can't expect authentic mexican food in a little town in england uh, you have to go to Mexico to get the real authentic food. But um, yeah, that's it for the day. Uh, we're just going to relax now. We're going to have a nice hot bath, aren't we? And then uh, go to bed. It's uh, just gone 20 past seven in the evening and I'm completely shattered. So uh, I'll be going to bed in the next hour because I'm really tired. Um, 
But yeah, tomorrow we're going to go for a walk in the Lake District. I've already found the walk we're going on. It's not too far from here. It's uh, and it's about a seven or eight mile walk. I'll let you know more about it tomorrow. But um, yeah, that's it for now. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Morning. Morning. So today is Monday, Easter Monday, mm -hmm. and it's just started raining. Lovely. Um, so today we're at Pooley Bridge. Managed to find a free parking space. We've just found a uh, little residential road full of, bu full of bungalows. And um, yeah, I just managed to park it. Not blocking anyone's drive or anything. Um, just managed to find some free parking on the pavement. This is the only place in this little village where I could find free parking, because just around the corner here, so starting here, it's all single yellow lines, um, which means you can't park from the 1st of March to the 31st of October. Well, it's the 10th of April today, so that falls well within the, uh, the restrictions. But uh, yeah, you've only just got <laughs> this little bit of road, because everything around here is uh, parking restricted, for obvious reasons. Um, you know, residents don't like people parking and taking up the road. Um, but yeah, this is the only free parking. All the other car parks in the area, uh, none of them are free. You have to pay for every single one of them. I think I just see parking up here actually. Um, so I'll show you the price. I think it says four pounds looking from here, but I'll have a little look. See, there's a little car park here. Uh, pay four pounds all day, uh, but it's an honesty box. So technically you wouldn't really have to pay because it's an honesty box. Um, you know, they don't track your reg or anything. So if, you wanted to, if you're a dishonest person, you could park here for free. Four pounds is quite reasonable anyway, to be fair. But um, yeah, I mean, we're just up there <laughs> around the corner and that's completely free. Yeah, like the official car parks in their area, it's like eight quid a day to park. Um, it's really, really expensive. So I didn't realize that was there. I just saw it walking down. I just saw the ones that I'm not, I'm not paying eight pounds for parking if I can avoid it, so. So we're doing a circular route from Pooley Bridge to Arthur's Pike. It's about eight miles. And Pooley Bridge, it's about 10 minute drive away from where we stayed in Penrith, so. Uh, it wasn't too bad to drive to. But yeah, we're going to do this and then we're going to drive home in the Easter traffic. So it's 8am now and we're hoping to get this done by midday so we can yeah. avoid some of the Easter traffic. We'll hit, I know we'll hit Easter traffic but hopefully we'll avoid the worst of it. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. let's, let's yeah. Uh, get out to the village and start the walk. So we just had some road walking for a little bit and uh, yeah, gate's there and now we're on a path. So just had our first sight of that. I believe that's Arthur's Pike. I mean, I've looked at my map and it pretty much uh, matches with where we're facing and where it looks on the map. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna be, I think we'll be climbing up there. Um, so that looks like, looks like it's gonna be a really, really good walk. And over there, you see that water? That's Ull's water over there. So um, we'll get a much better view of that as we, as we get up to the top over there. But uh, yeah, I think it's uh, something like 300 meters high. At Arthur's Peak. Well, it's 1,745 feet, so um, what's that in meters? Like 500 meters, I think. Yeah, something like that. Just over 500 meters. And I have something to add. I have something to add. Go on. Guess what? We what? find a free car, car park. <laughs> oh, yeah, we found another parking. If you see there's a red car and uh, a black car there, there's some parking there. I had no idea about that because um, I just look on Google Street View before we come and uh, I look for double yellow lines and um, places yeah, where we can park for free. This, but that little that little uh, country lane there is not on Google Maps, so. It's, uh, um, it's quite, it's big enough, yeah? I think maybe. Yeah, you could fit about. 10? Between 10 and 12 cars on there, yeah. Fairly yeah. comfortably. Maybe even 15 if everyone parked really close to each other. Um, really close to the gate so <laughs> well yeah but it's a big circle line so we'll be going back through Pooley Bridge anyway so okay. um we're not you know you're not we're not we're not saving any time if we're parked here because it's the same distance it's just a big circle okay. right let's continue and it's starting to rain again all right so we reached the crossroads now it says I don't know but I think it's Ho Town yeah I think it's pretty, pretty sure you pronounce it Hotown. It's just three and a quarter miles. It says nothing about Arthur's Pike, which I'm sure is that over there. So, uh, but my my app says it's this way. So that's where we're going. Has to be right. And uh, that's a much better view of Hall's Water. No trees in the way there. 
So yeah, that part was quite steep. It was raining the whole way up as well. It's just stopped raining now as we've got to this crossroads. Um, so the weather isn't great today, but it's not too bad. It's not really, really raining. It's just like medium rain, I'd say. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Arthur's Park. Again, I'll check my map. It matches up with the direction we're facing. So yeah, it looks really nice up there. We should get some good views. Is it the same as, um, is it the same Arthur from Scotland? Same Arthur? Oh, Arthur's seat in Edinburgh. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it's named after King Arthur. Yeah, maybe both are named after King Arthur. That's the only famous Arthur I know, King Arthur, from an old king from a thousand years ago. Maybe even more than that. Look at that, the sun's come out the first time <laughs> so there's all's water again we're getting a better view and then yeah getting a bit closer to arthur's pike now really good walk this um absolutely no people well we saw one person we saw one man walking a couple of dogs that was about half an hour ago and we've been walking nearly an hour now so we saw one person in an hour that's just the way we like it isn't it like not too many people because obviously Ben Nevis was a lot of people there and the walk before that Mam tour a lot of people there as well so it's the first walk we've done for a while where it's nice and nice and private look at that we've got a rainbow we've seen a couple of rainbows today but uh they were quite faint so the camera couldn't couldn't pick it up but that's definitely the best one I can see that the camera's picking it up um what's that, what's just happened Brian? We just took the wrong way. Yeah, we took the wrong way. We're on that path down there and we just climbed all the way up this uh, this hill here. And we're only about halfway now, so we've got to climb some more. Yeah, we, sh we turned right back here or we should have gone up this way, but never mind. It's, uh, it's not too difficult to walk on. And there's Arthur's Pike just next to the rainbow. Right, let's get on the path. We have an even better rainbow here. Look at this, you can see the whole arch. Uh, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but the end is just at the bottom of this hill, just there. Have you heard about the uh, about the story, White? No. At the end of a rainbow, there's a pot of gold. It's where the leprechaun hides the gold at the end of a rainbow. So if you want to go look, it's just at the bottom of this hill. <laughs> you want to go and look? No. No, no she's not going to fall for that one. Yeah, that's definitely the best rainbow I've seen today. Look at that. But it's raining, uh, raining a lot right now, which is why there's a rainbow. <laughs> right, so uh, we've just done a really steep part. Uh, that's where we went off course, so we had to climb all the way up there. And then we just, we're on the path now. And uh, yeah, Arthur's Pike is... Uh, that's not the top there, it's behind it. And the rainbow's just about disappeared now. No more gold for us, wine. No more. The gold's disappeared. <laughs> right, we've got this really steep bit to climb. Oh dear. Gonna get tired at the end of this. You can see there's some footholds here as well. I need to try and aim for these to keep some grip. Oh dear. Not too far from the top now. All right, so the top of Arthur's Pike is just at the top of there. Uh, bit of a steep bit there. The weather here is crazy though. Oh, look at the rainbow. <laughs> That's the fifth rainbow we've seen today. The weather here is crazy. It's sunny one minute, dark the next, then raining one minute, and then not raining the next. It was raining really heavy like five minutes ago, but it's lasted like three or four minutes. Yeah, and it's starting to rain again now. The only thing that's consistent is the wind. It's really, really windy. But uh, yeah, look at this view. That's all of Alls Water, that. So, try and get a picture of this, and then uh, we'll see you when we get to the top of Arthur's Pike. All right, so we got to the top of this hill, and you know, with the stones here, you would think this is the top. But uh, no, apparently Arthur's Pike is about 100 yards over there, which doesn't make any sense because it's lower than where we are now. Really weird, isn't it? A bit like
like Kinder Scout, Kinder Scout. The top is just like in the middle of a field like this. It's really good. But uh, yeah, here's the view from which should be the top. It should be the peak, but it is. Really good. And over there, I believe, is Hell's Island somewhere. I know we're not too far from it, so you can't really see it from there. With all the clouds. That's the sixth rainbow today. <laughs> Lots of rainbows, isn't it? Yeah, it was raining really heavy again, like uh, three minutes ago. Really heavy, but again, it just stops. But uh, I suppose in another three minutes, it'll start raining again, so. Right, let's get over to which apparently is over there. Well, how underwhelming is this? This is Arthur's Pike. <laughs> just a pile of rocks in a field. It's the same as the uh, Kinder Scout, yeah, I, isn't it? Yeah, I think Arthur made that one. Yeah, I think <laughs> Arthur just did a poo and then uh, <laughs> it, just it just turned into rocks over thousands of years or something. That's pathetic. So we were stood just over there, which should be the main attraction, but it isn't. Apparently it's this. Well, actually the map says it's in this field just here. I think, I don't know if, if either, it's just, to, to me, I think the map's wrong. It has to be, but I've checked it with Google Maps and I've checked it with the um, old trails, the app we're using. And both of them say it's just in that field. But why are these pile of rocks here then? It doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, that's it. We hiked all the way here for that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nah, it's not just for that. It's a really good view, especially from um, where we were earlier. And the rocks over there. Really good views of all's water. And of all the mountains behind as well. So after that thrilling experience of seeing that pile of rocks, uh, that's halfway of the walk, so we're gonna walk back towards the car now. So it is a circular route, but um, there's a little bit of the path which is the same as the one we've just come up, but um, most of it's just like just to the side of it, so it'll be pretty much the same view going down. But uh, yeah, it's now 10 past 10, so it's pretty much taken us two hours to get here, so we're on target to do this uh, in four hours and be back in the car setting off at midday to uh, uh -huh hit well to try and miss some of the uh bank holiday traffic yeah definitely. and it was quite it's quite tricky as well because uh, our like our legs still hurt coming down from from ben nevis uh -huh. that was two days ago now uh our legs were hurting a lot yesterday as well when we, when we were rock when we were walking around oban but um it's not too bad we managed to do it and it's all downhill now so it shouldn't be too bad all right let's go down let's go down Wine's just come up with um, one of the best things I've heard her say. It makes all this overwhelming experience make sense. Go on, Wine. I have a funny idea. Go on. I think Arthur sitting sit in Edinburgh yeah. and come here to Foo. <laughs> so, uh, so Arthur came all the way from Edinburgh off his seat. He got off his seat, walked over to the Lake District, then had a poo and then went back. Yeah, that's how that's how the uh, legend of King Arthur goes. <laughs> So I think I can add to the story a little bit of Arthur. So after up there, he had his poo. I think he stopped to have a pee at Ullswater. Do you think so as well? No. No. Wine's got very shy now. She wish she never <laughs> talked about Arthur having a poo up there. <laughs> but um, yeah, his, his bladder must have been very full because uh, that's, that's a big lake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's the story anyway. That's what we get taught at kids at school. 
Arthur came from Edinburgh to Lake District to have a poo and a pee. <laughs> so we've just come off the path now and we are in a holiday park. <laughs> it's called Park Foot Holiday Park. Uh, obviously all these green buildings here, they're all static caravans. So, um, Can you check how much you need? Oh, there's a dog there, look. <laughs> Some people, just dogs barking at us now. Some people are just leaving. But yeah, the path, or well, the route takes us this way. Would you like to stay in a static caravan one day? No. Huh? I don't know, maybe it's too small for both of us. It's not too small. It's got a bedroom, a kitchen. It's more than big enough, look. Look at the size of them. We might stay in one one day. Oh, mine doesn't want to now. I'd what? rather have Airbnb. I'd rather have Airbnb. To be honest, I'd just check whatever's the cheapest. <laughs> if it's cheaper to stay in one of these, I will do. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a nice to experience it one day. I've never actually stayed in a static caravan. I might have done when I was a kid, like really, really young. Um, but I don't remember it. I've stayed in a normal caravan, a uh, you know, a mobile caravan when I was young. But uh, that's it really. We're down at Ullswater Lake now, and um, yeah, for the last, what, 15 minutes, Wine? Mm -hmm. For the last 15 minutes, uh, we've been walking through that campsite. It is huge, absolutely huge. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It's not just these static caravans. Uh, there's places to pitch a tent. There's places for, you know, your caravans and your motorhomes. It's massive, and it comes down to here. Um, we're not too far from the car now, we've just got to walk along the lake a little bit. Then we're back at Pooley Bridge. It's starting to rain again. <laughs> um, it actually went about, what, half an hour without raining, which was quite a surprise. It was quite nice. And it rained for a couple of minutes and it stopped for 10. And yeah, it's just starting to rain again now. Probably getting water on the lens a little bit. But this is a lake, Oldswater Lake. I didn't know it whether it was a... Uh, a lake or a reservoir really, that's why I just called it Oldswater, but there was a sign there saying it's Oldswater Lake, so. Right, let's, uh, let's get back to the car. Mm -hmm. Hey, so we're just around the corner from the car now, and yeah, we finished the walk now. The app said it would take four hours, but we did it in just over three hours, like three hours, 10 minutes. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, we did really well there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just bought a fridge magnet as well from a shop. Nice little uh, Lake District one has a collie dog on, mm -hmm. just like just like Charlie. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's that's the end of the video. That's the end of the video and the end of the holiday. And um, really enjoyed it. Did you, Wine? Yes. Yeah, really good holiday. Uh, this walk was really good. I know the destination wasn't great, <laughs> um, but I think it was more of a walk of. Um, it's more about the journey than the destination. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the views going up rather than the view from the top yeah. if you know what I mean mm -hmm. but uh yeah we're gonna drive home now I just had a look at my phone it said it's gonna take just over three hours to get home which is about what it should be with a uh, medium traffic mm -hmm. uh hopefully the traffic doesn't build up like I say it is bank holiday Monday mm -hmm. Easter Monday um so you know traffic can build up at any time but yeah here we are back at the car and it looks like nobody else is as smart as us because we're the only ones still because those cars i think were that earlier so uh, we're the only ones smart enough to uh, find free parking mm -hmm. <laughs> so um yeah that's the end of the holiday see you later see you